Hello parents and welcome to How ISD. My name is Maggie Donahoe and I am the Instructional Technology Specialist for the district. And today we are going to go over how to enroll your student in How ISD. So the very first thing that you're going to want to do is go to www.howisd.net and then you're going to want to click on parents and then enrollment. When you click on enrollment, you're going to go down to online enrollment grades K through 12, and you're going to click enroll now. The very first time that you visit this parent portal, you're going to want to click on the tab that says create account. And that will allow you to create a username and a password to access this program. So when you click on create account, it's going to ask you for a username, a password. It wants you to verify your password, an email address. This is very important. Please make sure to put in an email address that you check regularly. And you have the option of also putting in your cell phone number. Once you have completed your user information, then you will complete your security key and click next. And then you will get to the complete screen that tells you that your parent portal account has been created. You will click finish and you will be logged into the parent portal. Before you can start enrolling your student, you will need to verify your email that you put in for your account information. To validate your email, you will need to go to the email address that you use to create your account and click on the blue link that says validate email. Once you click on that, it will change from unverified to verified. You will probably need to log out and log back in for the change to take place. Now that you have successfully verified your email address, you are going to go into where it says enroll a new student. And from there, it is going to take you through five steps with a confirmation step at the very end to make sure that all of your information is correct. You will fill out your student's name, address, you will need to verify an enrollment key, you will need to add any contacts, and complete forms. After you have completed the first step, which is putting in your student name, you will then have to request an enrollment key. On this step, you will simply click the blue button that says Request Enrollment Key, and then you will need to go check your email to get a code to paste into this box and then you will click verify. The next step in the enrollment process is to add your address and contact information. To add your student address, click on add address and fill out all of the boxes that are shown on this menu. Then you will also add a contact. You can add as many contacts for your student as you wish. Just make sure to continue clicking on add contact to add more than one to the list. Once you have added your addresses and contacts for your student, you will then go to the student information step. This will have you add or edit information for your student. You will choose an address that you have already previously put into your enrollment packet. You will put your student name, date of birth, you will choose all of this relevant information and you will go down and click on save and continue. After you have completed your student information, you are then going to go to the final step, which is clicking on and filling out your enrollment forms. Some of the enrollment forms are just for you to read and acknowledge and click the button, and others are for you to fill out information. So once you click on a form and you fill out the information and everything is correct, you'll see a check mark that says form completed. If you see an exclamation point next to a form, that means that that form has not yet been completed. Once you have completed all 10 forms, you will click on enroll student and then you can print your enrollment certificate or take a picture of it and go to your student's campus office. 